So let's get started. Um, same day, different video, or we could say it's a different day, same topic. <laughs> However you want to look at it. Okay, today I thought we'd talk, um, kind of take a step back and kind of give people that may stumble upon this video an idea or definition of what domestic violence is or what uh, an abusive relationship entails okay so I um, I went to Wikipedia and pulled up that site oh but before I go there let me let me um, say something I do want to say I am not a licensed therapist I don't proclaim to be never had any kind of um, don't have any kind of degree in psychology um, or psychiatry I've been to college I, I did study in some psychology drama but also had uh, speech communication I also did jazz uh, for one semester I believe it was one quarter um, when I went to college so but you know I'm kind of the jack of all trades however the reason why I am here though today talking about women's issues women's concerns and about domestic violence is because for one I'm a woman um, and also because I have experienced domestic violence um, in one form or another I've never been beaten up by a lover, but I have experienced ver verbal abuse, emotional abuse, psychological abuse, and I have experienced abuse by strangers. Um, people that I didn't know on an intimate level, but people that I, I was acquainted with. So I am, you know, I'm not a stranger to, um, to violence touching my life. Um, as well as people that I love. So, I do have here with me, just to show you this, because I will reference this book from time to time. If you can see that there. Kind of, um, don't know if you can see that, but I'll put it up anyways. It's the, it's the interview guide for evaluating DSM-4 psychiatric disorders and the mental status examination so I think what this is and I, you know, I bought it um, at the bookstore because I mean, I've always been interested in the human mind and why we do what we do and um, also just um, you know different disorders and uh, diagnoses because you know so often in our society you know, people are, are labeled this and this and that, and, you know, I have met many women who have been labeled this and this and that, and I probably have erroneously labeled many different women this and this and that, you know, so please forgive me if you were any of those that I labeled, um, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, whether you're a man or a woman, you know, you're a human being, and we all have God problems. I mean, some of us have multitudes of problems, but we've all got problems, and, um, you know, it's so easy to just to slap a label upon somebody and say, well, you're, you're bipolar, or you're, um, hysteronic, or you're paranoid schizophrenic, or you're a sociopath, you know, and granted, there are many freaking crazy people out there in the world. I mean, I see them every day. I see them on TV here. I'm, you know, CNN stays on this channel. Or if it's not CNN, it's HLN where I watch the really crazy people. <laughs> and I'm not just talking about Dr. Drew or Nancy. <laughs> Alright, I have to make that joke. But, um, so that I will reference the DSM or, um, I mean, there's some pretty heavy stuff in here, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a doctor, 
You know, I'm just one woman with a huge opinion. Okay? I'm not Cleo. I'm not telling you to call me now. Call me now. I can't read your future. You know, I may be able to tell you a little bit about your astrological sign and what I think that means, but I am not your goddess. I am not your god. I'm not any of that. I am just one woman who has an opinion and who has a calling and who listens to her inner voice and follows her passion. And that's why I am here before you because I have a determination and um, I have a desire to try to help where I can. And I am a huge feminist, as I'm sure you will figure that out, you know, and um, although I'm not in an abusive relationship myself, the fact that women are dying every day, they're living lifeless lives, that their children are witnessing violence every day, it affects me tears my heart apart and um, I can no more turn away and and do and do nothing and the internet is huge I mean I've been involved with the internet for a while and I've um, you know I have other businesses online but you know I want to use my um, knowledge my experience and uh, my way of being able to be around, get around the internet and reach people, I want to use that um, for to be able to help women who are experiencing um, episodes, if you will, or are in relationships that are enclosed, if you will, in um, domestic abuse or domestic violence. Okay, so I also want to um, add that um, it's very important that you're that you're safe. You know, don't take what I say here and go run to town with it because you really need to speak to a professional about your situation. I don't know your situation. I'm not in your situation. I don't know the kind of creep um, or the animal that you're dealing with. I don't know how crazy he is, you know, but I do know the statistics. I do know the facts. I do know that your chances of being killed if you leave a partner who has abused you and is abusing you are greatly increased. I believe there's something like 75% actually. Let's, 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 let me scroll down here. See if we can see this. If it's on here. I think it's like something like 75% of women who leave are killed. Um, I don't see it. Alright, but <clears throat> the fact is still, I don't, I don't know your situation and I'm not gonna tell you that you need to do this and this and this because it's not my place. I mean, I'm very opinionated, but I'm not going to go there um, because I, I, I want you to be safe and only you know your circumstances. So, you know, there are places out there where you can get help. You know, you can always Google the National uh, Domestic Violence National Hotline, but I wouldn't, um, I would be very careful of calling from your home or your cell phone. I would, um, either a call from a friend's home, but I would also let someone know what's going on with you uh, and with, you know, your partner um, before you try any of this alone. You know, make sure your children are going to be safe and that, uh, you know, take every precaution that you possibly can, okay? Anyways, so what is a domestic violence relationship? What is a domestic abuse relationship? Let's get to the point. I'll get off this video. I've got so many more to do subscribe to my channel stay connected um, every time a video I upload a video then you would be 
I guess they will YouTube messages you in your inbox so that's why you want to subscribe so that way you're you know you can kind of get a notice a notice right away okay so let's go to Wikipedia all right so domestic violence or an abusive relationship all right let's read here dating abuse or dating violence is defined as the perpetration or threat of an act of violence by at least one member of an unmarried couple on the other member within the context of dating or courtship it is also when one partner tries to maintain power and control over the other through abuse or violence this abuse or violence can take a number of forms sexual assault sexual harassment threats physical violence verbal mental or emotional abuse social sabotage and stalking it can include physical I'm sorry it can include psychological abuse emotional blackmail sexual abuse physical abuse and psychological manipulation and then it goes on to say what dating violence it crosses all areas race economic background age it doesn't matter and gender as well um you know i was reading through on this page and i was reading about the different types of um like you know in in africa in some parts of africa they have uh, female mutilation that goes on you know where they you know you, you have this coming out party party I think you're like eight years old and then they, they take you with no anesthesia um, and I don't think any drugs either and the the the, um, the, the old elder woman in the family or grandma or somebody you know if you're eight years old and you're coming out there's a different type of coming out there than what we talk about here you know but as a young girl your 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 private part if you will is um, circumcised or cut off and is the you know they have this this I guess it's based upon the religion uh, slash culture and and it kind of shows that a woman is clean and that she's not been touched and everybody wants to have their child do this because it, it ensures that you're going to be married and you're going to be included in the culture there and if not then there's no way to tell and then you're ostracized and nobody wants you and you become like this nobody okay but the actual operation the actual circumcision is so extreme and many um, girls die and because they because of infection and, and and a host of other problems but the fact I mean this really goes on and in South Africa but in our country you know we have a huge epidemic of incest and then we have the um, girls young girls getting pregnant by their dads I mean I've known women that I was very close to grown women to be having sex with their own fathers I mean you know that this is a very common thing but a very quiet thing that goes on in our, in our society in the minds of these women the 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 the, rea the reality is just so you know the thought of it just brings me to tears and I you know I think about my friends and people that I've loved and and what happened to them and and you know it's 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 really beyond um, my comprehension and I don't wish that on anybody and the fact that it goes on and it goes on every day and it's going on right now as I talk as I speak here in this computer some child some little girl is being violated by her father you know we've got prostitution in this country um, you know where, where women are are actually sold into sexual slavery and um many of my term prostitutes you know they're called prostitutes you know some 
many of our young children are kidnapped and sold. You know, they're 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 like like animals in a, in, a, in a cage, just being beat off to the next guy, the next guy, the next guy. And, then, and there are guys out there that are doing this, that are literally paying twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars to to go screw some girl who is half conscious, and they don't care. I mean, how can you, a child, a child, how, how is that possible? So, domestic violence, domestic abuse, it really is far region. It's not just between you and your boyfriend, you and your husband. We have a society that demeans women and girls and children it's like maybe the big macho man up there somewhere the stranger or the, the you know thinks that he's all this and it's all about demeaning the weak in his mind I have no idea really I can read this thing up and down back and forth it doesn't tell me a damn thing because you know it doesn't explain how evil, such extreme evil, can permeate somebody's heart and mind to where they would do something like that to an innocent person. There's no explanation for that. Except you're not in your right mind. But to me, you know, that's, that's just not enough. So... We may never be able to stop it, all of it. But you know what? I will talk about it. I will talk about it. I will not not talk about it. It's not okay with me. It's not okay that you harm my sisters, that you're grabbing women in dark alleys and you're raping them and you're infecting them with diseases. It's not okay. It's not okay what you do, and you know who you are. It's not okay that you beat up on your girlfriend or your wife, and that you make her feel less than because she's a woman, because she doesn't have a job and you chose to go out and work in the community and leave her home with the kids. All right, domestic violence. It, is rape. It's violence. It's binding women down. It's mutilation. It's degradation. It's slavery. It's enslavement. It's entrapment. It's stalking. It's murder. It's everything that makes a person less than a person all right as you probably know I've got a book that's coming out um, it's not already out by the time you watch this video it's gonna be called seven Sin seven daily sins of domestic violence it may be um, domestic violence the seven daily sins uh, uh, you know I'm kind of playing around with that but I'm of course I'm doing these videos now just to get the SEO on the back link and, and the um, the marketing in place. I may have a link to the bottom here where I have um, you may be able to purchase the book pre-launch um, on one of my sites and um, if you see the link just going to click on it and you can go to this site and if you want to get it that's fine I think it's probably going to be priced at $10 it's a PDF save it on your hard drive read it keep it however if you're in a situation where you cannot save this information um, in a safe place or have it don't buy it please um, just don't just if you can watch the, my videos every once in a while I will continue to make videos you can subscribe to my channel but don't um, buy this book because I don't if you're in a unsafe place because I don't want it to be found uh, by anybody who could harm you okay it's not worth it. You can just 
listen to my voice and uh, my sweet voice and um you don't have to say that to your computer okay so also but i will tell you this there's a book that i do want to um refer, refer you to and you can get it at amazon and i will actually try to put a link i will put a link to the book below the video as well this book helped me out a lot when i was in a relationship that i it was kind of crazy and this woman that she has schooling and she's schooled in this area but anyways it's called the verbally abusive relationship by patricia evans i've given this book out to other people um that's her on the back awesome book I, you know i'm not really sure about what it sells at amazon um but it's whatever it is it's worth it trust me this is an awesome book because chances are if you think you're in a, an abusive relationship um you probably are and the what's probably is happening is you're probably being verbally abused more than you realize and a lot of times it starts there before it escalates so if you if he's already pushed you or thrown glasses or a chair and stuff like that at you chances are you've already been verbally abused and maybe you you don't recognize some of the signs so this is a great book again verbally abusive relationship i don't recommend you getting this one only because um this is very um um well you can get it if you want i think it cost me like 15 dollars but it's it's more for like professionals who diagnose people okay i was just interested because i read i read about everything um yeah, so I'll leave the link to the Patricia's book, and if my book is ready and on my site, I'll leave a link to that, which you can get for about ten bucks. Um, but if you know, anyways, I think that's it. So, and check out, you know, just Google things. You can Google um, a lot of this information and learn it on your own time as well. But um, again. You know, I got your back. I'm there with you. Um, I may not be going through what you're going through, but I understand. And um, I'm holding your hand. I'm holding your hand. Somebody cares. I care. So just, you know, keep rolling. Keep rolling, all right? All right, we'll talk to you later. I'll um, try and get another video out in another day or two. All right, take it easy.